Airtable or Notion? So we get this question a ton over at WhaleSync and it makes a lot of sense because at first glance, Airtable and Notion look very similar. Airtable has a database that is the core product. Notion offers a database that is a big part of the product. So when do you use both? In this video, we will cover the similarities, the differences, and exactly when to use Airtable versus when to use Notion. And we know this because we use both of these tools at WhaleSync and we integrate with both these tools. So without further ado, let's get into the similarities and then we'll talk about the differences. The first obvious similarity between Airtable and Notion is that they are both no-code tools. So anyone without any programming knowledge can use them to build pretty powerful things. In Airtable, you can hop in, start to enter data. In Notion, you can hop in, start to write different things. But again, the key is that they are available for anyone. Second of all, Airtable and Notion are both heavily customizable. They each like to think of themselves as giving you Lego blocks that you can use to build whatever workflow you need. Again, in Airtable, you will notice this in the sense of tables and fields being very customizable, something that you just hop in and start to edit. And in Notion, there's literally a concept of blocks where you hit slash, this pulls up a little block creator and you can choose from things like text, heading, images, files, really anything you want. The next big similarity is that Airtable and Notion are both powered by databases. So an Airtable database or what they call an Airtable base is literally the core of the product where again, you can store and create lots of data. This is a lot like a spreadsheet, like a Google sheet if you're familiar with it. In Notion, they call it a Notion database and it is pretty much just like an Airtable base. You do essentially the same exact thing. In both these tools, you can link data across your databases. So you can literally connect your data between these spots. And finally, the other big similarity is that Airtable and Notion each give you views on top of your data. So not only can you store information here, but you can actually work with it to fit your needs, right? So an Airtable that can take the form of a Kanban board, a calendar, filtered and sorted views. Notion offers something extremely similar. Kanban, calendar, road mapping tools, really whatever you need to work with your data. So now that we've talked about the similarities, let's get into the interesting bit, which is how Airtable and Notion are actually very different. Now we can talk a lot about individual features, things like their communities, their templates, their integrations, right? But the core thing to understand is the essence of each of these tools. What is actually different when it comes to how they think about themselves as a product? And really what it comes down to is their core component. So Notion, that core component is a blank page. The first thing you see when you open up Notion is a Google Doc-like editor. It's prompting you to start to write and create, again, much more like Microsoft Word. And in these pages that you see, you can create and add whatever you want, including databases, and that's a really big piece of it. But that core component, the essence of Notion, is a page. Airtable, on the other hand, its core component is a database. So there isn't even a page view in Airtable. You wouldn't be able to open up and start to write in the same way that you could in Notion. And you probably wouldn't want to. What Airtable is really great for is this spreadsheet view. Again, it's much more like Google Sheets, if you're familiar with that, or Excel. And in an Airtable base, you can easily link data between different tables. It can handle hundreds or thousands of rows of data, and it even has an app store full of extensions specifically for managing data. So now that you understand the essence of these two tools, let's talk about when you should actually use them. Notion is best if you're building a company wiki. So think of it more as a competitor to Google Drive than really a competitor to Airtable. Uh, Notion is where you can store all of your company's information that might be in the form of data in a database, but often that's just sets of docs with docs linked to each other. And so Notion lets you create really beautiful pages that are not only great on their own, but interconnect between all of them, creating this hub or brain of information uh, for a company or even for your personal life. So as an example, you can check out how we use Notion at WhaleSync. So this is the notion where we store our company wiki, which has things like documents and meeting notes, as well as just kind of anything that we want to make available to the rest of the team. And you can click from page to page easily. 
and see all of the text stored together as well as how we can link different pages together. So here I'll literally link to uh, the script in this video, which I also wrote in Notion. And again, it's just easily accessible for anyone on the team. So now let's talk about when to turn to Airtable. So Airtable is best when you're working with lots of data, lots of records. And so again, bringing it to the Google comparison, instead of comparing Airtable to Google Drive like Notion, Airtable is much more like Google Sheets. So any example where you're using Sheets today, you can probably move it over to Airtable. Um, and so that's really broad. Like Sheets is, is maybe the most used piece of software in the world, and so you can use it for a lot of things. And Airtable is like that too. So again, I'll show you what we use Airtable for at WhaleSync. So here you can see we use Airtable as a place to store all of the content on our website. So literally every row in this database is a piece of data on our actual website. Uh, we even use it as a lightweight investor CRM. When we were raising funds, we would use this to keep track of all the investors we talked to and who we wanted to reach out to next. So you can start to get a sense of just how varied the use cases are for Airtable. That is what makes it so powerful. It is extremely flexible. So to wrap it up, Airtable and Notion have lots of little differences, right? Features that we can talk about in another video, like their AI features, which are slightly different, their communities, which have different personas and people that are active and part of them. Their templates are certainly different. But overall, hopefully you've walked away with a clear picture, which is that Airtable is more of a database, Notion is more of a wiki, and if you're choosing between the two, it really depends on which use case you're trying to fulfill. Oftentimes, in fact, what we see, like us, is people use both of these tools at the same time. And when that happens, you can always turn to WhaleSync. We actually offer a two-way sync between Airtable and Notion that people take advantage of. So let us know what else you're interested in here, and we're happy to talk about more of the differences between tools like these.